Hello, everybody. Yeah, it's always a few seconds between when I come and uh, when I start the broadcast and when it actually starts broadcasting. Cuckoo. I was just looking. I mean, it's hilarious. Somebody must feel really threatened by me because they've put a thumbs down yeah, even before I even... Just a second. And, uh, uh, I mean, he, they put a thumbs down even before I even started my my broadcast, my event. I mean, uh, that's ridiculous and hilarious. Hello. I mean, they must be really, really feeling threatened by me. J'ai uh, dit que je me rigolais parce que quelqu'un peut se... Je sais pas comment dire ça. Doit être très terrorisé par moi, euh, sentiment des infériorités ou je ne sais pas pourquoi, parce que ils ont mis un pouce euh, en bas même avant que j'ai commencé mon, euh, mon live. Yeah, so, hello Dana, bonjour, bonsoir Dominique. Alors, let me put this to the side so we can start and get this... Uh, so what I said is that we were going to make a uh, an applique pendant, and that is really really easy. Let me see what's going on with my camera. It doesn't seem to want to focus properly. Okay, let's see now. I see just fine on my side. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so um, remember I put in the um, uh, discussions uh, and on the website uh, what are the materials uh, needed. Bonsoir, Cecile. Uh, hello, Shirley. And one of them was a combination for the base. And I have here one of the combinations that I have uh, recommended. And this is a Primo, a Sunshine Yellow, and the Ultramarine. You see, I have just a little bit of Ultramarine because it's very, very strong. If you have a lighter color, uh, then you can use more than that. And then I have uh, Primo Gold. Euh, comme j'ai dit dans les discussions et sur ma page de Facebook, c'est on va faire un pendant avec appliqué et j'ai mis les recommandations pour la couleur des de pâtes euh, qu'on choisit. C'est moi j'ai choisi le Sunshine Yellow de Primo, l'Ultramarine de Primo, euh, mais c'est un, un petit Um, une petite quantité du, du bleu parce que c'est un bleu très fort. Si vous avez un, un turquoise ou un uh, sea glass ou quelque chose comme ça, vous pouvez utiliser uh, plus de la pâte pour votre uh, dégradé. Et ensuite, j'ai du or primo, dans les primo accents. Uh, alors, on fait, premièrement, on fait le uh, dégradé. Et vous savez comment je fais mon dégradé. So first we do the Skinner blend, then you know how I do my Skinner blend. Usually it's all kind of smooshed together. It's not triangles, it's not tears, it's something. It just, it works for me. If you are more familiar with the triangles or with the tears, the way the polymer clay tutor uh, teaches, go ahead and do it that way. But uh, I don't want the blue to come all the way. I want some pure 
yellow here. I don't worry about the blue not being pure on the other side because, as I said, it's very, very strong. Donc, je ne veux pas le bleu d'arriver de ce côté. Uh, je ne m'inquiète pas um, pour le bleu étant pur ici parce que le, ce bleu est très, très fort. Uh, je vais faire mon dégradé. I didn't make more because it's just one little pendant. <laughs> okay, I'm on the right. And yeah, I've chosen a, a round. You can use whatever cutter you've chosen. I've chosen a round and I'm going to bake it on the bottom of a beer can coke can i have no idea this is from my neighbor because i don't drink beer and i very rarely drink soda pop and when i do i get the bottle one bonjour optimistic uh j'ai dit que j'ai ce comment comment est-ce que vous appelez ça en français parce que je sais pas J'ai un qui est rond, mais vous pouvez euh, euh, utiliser n'importe quel euh, pour vous-même. Et moi, je vais le, le cuire sur le, le dos d'une boîte de bière. Je crois que c'est de la bière. En porte-pièce? Ok, merci. Um, because I have such a strong blue, I'll probably have to go quite a bit of times with it in the pasta machine. And you know how it gets wide, and then we have to shorten it up. Let me shorten it up. I've shown you in the Skinner Blend tutorial how to shorten these up. You just fold it, make sure that you don't grab um, air bubbles, air pockets, and then you just pull it together. Donc, si votre dégradé devient trop large, vous le roulez en prenant soin de ne pas attraper des boules d'air. Et ensuite, vous le Faites petit de nouveau. Vous êtes bon à aller. Hello, Lawrence. So, I will try and keep up in both English and French so everybody understands. And um, this will be fairly easy. So, within an hour, I think we'll have enough to even bake it and do the back on it and while it bakes i'll have the time to show you some stuff of the stuff that i got ready to make tutorials on and testing that's the most important the testing part okay i'm gonna go to the cinema setting and see what i've been saying in the skinner blend tutorial uh when it doesn't and doesn't and doesn't want to blend you have this line and you want to convince it to blend a little bit just shift it slightly kind of like this and then it will have to it cannot do anything anymore it has to start blending And then just get it straight, normal. But as I said, I'm going to have to do a lot of passes through the machine with this blue. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's the French that I did not forget because I've lived in the US for over 18 years and I did not have a lot of chances to speak French and now I started speaking again because there are so many people from France and Belgium and Canada who are French speakers 
and uh, some of them don't understand English at all. So I said, well, I'll just try to brush up on my French and try to explain in French too. So you see how I'm uh, mixing it to force it, to practically force it to blend in the middle there because I want a little bit of blending in the middle. I want that green to make a nice effect. Now, this time we don't really want an absolutely perfect uh, Skinner blend. If you get this, it's fine. But I'm going to shorten it a little bit more. Because as I said, it has to go so many times with this dark blue. Uh, J'ai dit que pour ce uh, pendentif, vous ne devez pas avoir un dégradé qui est absolument parfait. Si vous avez des lignes comme uh, celle que j'avais ici, c'est absolument uh, parfait. C'est pas, c'est seulement un, un effet de plus. Donc, ça sera le dernier. Donc, je vais le passer dans la machine. Et ensuite, je vais choisir quel des deux je veux. One more time. Donc, j'ai ça et j'ai ça. Je vais choisir celui-là. And I'm going to just cut it. And remember, I prefer to always lift the clay first and the uh, cutter after because that way you get much uh, nicer edges when you cut. Je dis que je préfère enlever la pâte uh, la première et ensuite le uh, emporte pièce parce que de ce façon vous obtenez des des cotes absolument parfaites. Vous n'avez pas besoin de les reviser. Uh, now, to make the applique, I'm going to show you one of the simplest ever appliques to make. So I have this gold. I'm going to pass it through the pasta machine a couple times just to get it a little bit softer uh, because uh, it needs to be fairly soft for this. So you make sure that it is about the width of the pendant. And you get it through the thickest setting. And then you go ahead and cut it and double the thickness. And then just in case, you know, just in case you might need more, just stack it one more time. Donc, vous prenez l'or et vous le passez dans la machine seulement pour le, le conditionner un peu. Et ensuite, c'est la plus épaisse. Et vous le coupez et le mettez en quatre. Now, what you need, this will come like on the blue area and a little bit down. Okay, so you have plenty of room here. And I said, uh, you need a bowl stylus or the handle of a paintbrush. Ah, je vois. Alors, euh, je vais utiliser le, la manche de, du pinceau. Vous pouvez faire ça avec un uh, stylus rond. And uh, all that you do is to texture this gold. And you just start making holes in it. Of course, you can make bigger holes if you have a different uh, paintbrush. You can make bigger holes and smaller holes. The idea is that you need to uh, have the whole area that would go on top of the pendant. 
euh, pretty much all holy. Donc, vous faisiez des trous. Vous pouvez, vous pouvez faire des trous plus grosses ou plus petites, mais l'important, c'est que vous devez avoir toutes ces... toutes ces régions euh, qui va être mises sur le bleu et un petit peu sur le jaune ou les couleurs que vous avez dans vos dégradés. Euh, elle doit être plein de trous. Plein, plein, plein de trous. So squish the trous one, the, the holes one into the other if need be. Donc, vous pouvez les agglomérer un dans l'autre. Bonsoir, Régine. I am looking at the chat from time to time. I might not see right away what you're saying, but I will see it eventually. Uh, je regarde la, le, le chat. Et même si je ne vois pas tout de suite ce que vous dites, je vais le voir après une... Quelques secondes. Do you need me to get the camera closer in a close-up? I will get it when I need to cut this. Anyway, I will. So you see, you make this kind of organic -y texture. But make sure that you don't have many places that don't have a hole. Even if you squish the holes one into the other. Now, trim this of the uh, edges because the edges are raised and they are going to bother you for the next step. So whatever edges that don't have a hole, you must trim them. Donc, coupez toutes les, euh, les côtes qui n'ont pas de trous. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I, I think that it's better than the other one that I had. So I think that I'm going to, to purchase it. I didn't even... Uh, try all the features. It's got all kinds of features that you can include all kinds of effects and even use two cameras. So I might try and use that at one point. Now for the next step, remember I always tell you be careful and make sure that your um, flexible blade is clean at all times and whenever I have to do any kind of shaving, I use the armor roll. If you don't have armor roll, I think that just plain water should work, but make sure that you wipe the blade really, really, really good. Uh, je fais un pendentif en appliqué. Je fais un dégradé avec du bleu et du jaune. Uh, maintenant, j'ai pris de l'or et je l'ai mis uh, en quatre. Et j'ai fait des trous avec le, la manche d'un euh, pinceau. Et maintenant, je vais couper. Now, you don't really shave this. What you want is to practically uh, slice off the top layer. So you'll get only the areas that are the, the net between the holes. You know, so it will be kind of like, a, as I said, an organic thing bonsoir Judith now wish me luck because I'm not sure if I can do it from the first time it's still a little bit overcast here so my hands are not at their best but uh, okay let, I said I was going to put this close in a close up Sorry, I have to look at two different screens. Uh, 
and this thing Google Hangouts uh, turns my uh, camera like it mirrors it the YouTube shows it fine but Google Hangout mirrors it and see I don't see very well for some reason even it on Google Hangouts I see very very clear but this one doesn't seem to have the I think it didn't go to 720 Now, I'm going to try and cut a the top layer. So what you want to get is you don't want to get the holes, you just want to get the netting on top of the holes, between the holes. So pretty much this. And again, there's nothing lost. You can redo this. Now, do I like it? And you can try it. And if you don't like it, you can redo this, of course, as I said. It actually looks fairly nice. So I think I'm going to keep it. Now, see how simple that is? It's very simple, but at the same time, it's quite spectacular. And also, by the way, uh, when you do this, it actually leaves a very nice uh, mica shift in the metallic. Let me get this back out. I don't know if you can see. Okay, I lost it. If you can see the the mic, it's almost a mic shift. Let me get me get it more through the pasta machine, so you can see it fully. But even full of holes like this, it's still pretty. Let's see the kind of mic shift it leaves. And I, you know, all machines have one shiny side and one uh, fuzzy side, and I just ran it through the fuzzy side but it still has a nice organic -y, uh <laughs> I don't give French lessons donc j'aime ça et vous pouvez réutiliser celui-là si vous n'aimez pas la première coupure vous pouvez refaire le tout et essayer encore j'ai montré que euh, le tout laisse un très joli mica shift Maintenant, vous utilisez l'emporte-pièce pour couper. Donc, vous pouvez prendre tous ces petits morceaux. Et ensuite, faites sûr qu'il est bien collé ici. Et if you want, you can add some uh, mica powder on top of it. You don't have to. It's pretty as it is. But what I suggest is wait until you place it on the baking sheet because you won't be handling it anymore. If you put the mica, sh mica powder right now, you're going to be handling it and then you might uh, spill some more. Donc, j'ai dit, vous pouvez ajouter de, de la poudre mica, mais mon conseil est de ne pas l'ajouter euh, que lorsque vous l'avez euh, mis sur votre base à cuire, parce que vous allez la manipuler, et donc vous, ça, est un, ça va être le risque de, de faire des petits euh, euh, grains de, de la poudre de mica tomber sur le, le dégradé. So you just make sure that you get it properly on your baking support. And I'm going to put a little bit of mica powder on it. But see how it is? It's, it's all organic-y and all that. And uh, 
if you want and if you have any kind of cane of the sort you can actually put some kind of uh, sea creature here if you want or something but uh, see it looks fairly organic -y. and I thought of making something short that can be baked so we can do the backing as well and the, the means of um, actually putting on a bale. So let me grab some mica powder in it, just a second. This is what I'm going to show you because this is what I have for review, testing and review. And some of the colors are absolutely fabulous. I got five, uh, and the prices are not bad at all. I got five colors, and then I got a whole bunch of, they, they sell these little um, Ziploc bags for 99 cents. If you want to just try a color before uh, buying it, and these are around, they have some sale going on. These are around three bucks. Uh, there is only one thing that I don't like about them, and I'll show you that in a minute. And look at this glitter. Look at this glitter. It's so beautiful. And this other one. It's actually a company that makes all kinds of stuff for face painting. Qu'est-ce que vous dites de ces paillettes? Elles sont absolument exquises. Exquises. Mais enfin... Euh, ce que je disais que j'aime pas sur ces poudres mica, euh, elles ne sont pas du tout chères. Vous pouvez aussi acheter des, euh, des échantillons. Une des petites, euh, des petites euh, échantillons, c'est pour euh, 99 euh, cents, donc un dollar. Et vous pouvez les, les essayer. Ce que j'ai aimé le plus, c'est le fait qu'ils ont du, euh, du rouge. What I like the most is that they have red mica. I mean, I've been trying to find red mica. I got that russet, but it's not really red. And they have this Beaujolais that is absolutely beautiful. And then this is the new Beaujolais. This is the old Beaujolais, and this is the new Beaujolais. And I will try them in a minute. I was thinking of actually applying this sage green that might give some extra color on it and what i don't like actually it's two things number one um there's nowhere the color see there's no sign i mean the little uh, samples have the color but on the jars themselves you'd expect it to be either here or here or somewhere but there's the color is nowhere to be found and the other thing I understand that's for face painting, but it's not at all um, handy for us. Because see, it's got this thing like for makeup. So you have to go in and out and do that. And it's very hard to take this out without spilling the whole powder. So you see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to get some of this sage green on the gold to give it an extra depth because I'm going to have the uh, gold that can be seen in between the netting. And actually, I'm going to give it some red too. What about that? Just to give it more depth. Let's just play, huh? Ah. Uh. Ah oui, je veux des pouces. Surtout parce que cette personne m'a donné un pouce en bas, même avant que j'ai commencé. C'est pas joli, ça. Yeah, that was hilarious, honestly. If, I mean, that cannot tell more clearly that you feel threatened than doing that even before it started I mean for goodness sakes at least wait until it's posted and then you can say oh yeah I don't like it I watched it and I don't like it but you know oh well
Okay, now should I use which of these? Let me use this uh, blue violet. This is supposed to be a duo color. I suppose I can see who has put the pouces in the Oh, je vois seulement les pouces. Mais vous voyez ce que je disais, c'est le, le, un de, des deux cons, le fait qu'il n'y a pas le nom de la couleur et le fait qu'on doit faire ça tout le temps. Mais j'aime les couleurs, elles sont absolument géniales. Et ils ont tellement de couleurs. Ah oh, oui. J'ai mes suspicions, mais déjà, cette personne est à être compassionnée pour elle parce que c'est définitivement quelqu'un qui a beaucoup de problèmes psychologiques. And I said, I, I have my... Oh, look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? I said, I have my... Uh, I think I know who it is, but that person is already good to be pitied because it seems that she has a lot of issues, psychological issues. Now, let me see. Alors, uh, je vais, l'un de deux que je suis très curieuse uh, sont, voilà, le Laguna, Moonstone, this one is uh, Interference, these are the ones that I'm the most curious about and I'm going to test and review. Look at this beautiful Interference. I think that it can be used in making four Moonstone with no problems and this uh, Laguna thing too. And then Black Dahlia, I mean, come on, Black Dahlia. And Bronze Goddess, look at this bronze. It's absolutely fabulous. And American Pink. And then they have the Pisces Blue, which is I think that, see, this is another interference, and I think that this would look, work good both in the faux labradorite and maybe in the faux opal as well. So, yeah, I'm, I have to first finish the enamel thing, and, um, and then I will do the this one. So, let me do the violet, and then it can be baked. But see, that's the, the, these are the only two things, the, the color, the name of the color not being there, and uh, the fact that you have to keep doing this. C'est super. J'aime beaucoup. C'est très organique. And I think that you can get this effect with the regular Perlex powders. You know, I mean, if you get uh, like the white or the citrine here and then the copper here and then, I don't know, maybe the green and the purple and the blue-green here, it should look just fine. But... Give me just a minute, I'm going to go uh, bake this and I'll be right back because we have plenty of time to do the back as well. But see, I love the organic -y feeling all these powders gave on it. I don't do this before with so many powders. Okay, I'll be right back. Je reviens tout de suite, je vais le mettre à cuire.
So yeah, this is for the the next text and test and review after the enamels. And I'm sure that you will enjoy this because it's all about playing with all these and it's fun. And as I said, the, the prices are very reasonable. Uh, not all the colors are the same. On some of them, they always have sale price on. And you can get the samples for 99 cents. And there's quite a bit in this little uh, bag. It doesn't look like it, but it is. Ah, oh, merci. Oh, yay. Excellent, Shirley. That's excellent. <laughs> Pourquoi plus de boulot? And then as uh, Delphine um, a demandé uh, des tutos avec des paillettes, avec ces nouveaux paillettes, et j'ai encore des paillettes à moi, je vais avoir beaucoup de... Euh, je pensais vraiment de, de faire des... d'utiliser des paillettes dans la euh, tsunami can transparent que je vais faire now with the glitter because uh, one of the ladies demanded the... No, 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 c'est des, des poudres, des poudres mica. Ce sont des échantillons de ça. Tu vois? Ça sont les, les boîtes, mais j'ai acheté des échantillons. Ah, uh, yes, it's a difference in the shininess, in the mica part. Oh, you're talking about between these and the perlex? By what I can see, <laughs> Some of the colors don't seem to have so much um, mica-ness. I don't know how to call it, but I'll show you what I mean. Some of them are shinier than others. Like, see, this one, it doesn't look like it. This is the sage and this is a... Uh, darker green i would have to get the the paper it doesn't look like it but when you put it on the polymer clay this one shines more than this so i think that some of them are a little bit more transparent le duochrome no no yeah, yeah, or maybe they are a little bit more transparent. They might be with more interference, maybe. I don't know. But the, the, see, some of these have, look at this bronze. It's better than any of the Perlex bronzes. I never tried the perfect pearls, so I don't know how they are, but or see this i don't think it's going to be a lot of um shininess it's beautiful and probably you can get a lot of nice colors but uh oh <laughs> mais comme je disais uh, acheter des petites des petits échantillons um il regarde I'm saying that these samples, they look very small, but with how little we actually use for 99 cents, it's not bad. Let me open it and try and make you see inside. Because they, they are very squished from the shipping. But see, there's quite a bit inside for just 99 cents. Uh, you know what, let me go grab my uh, paper and I'll tell you exactly the prices.
Okay, so they are two dollars. The jars are two dollars. Les, les boîtes comme si sont deux dollars. So the, the darker green is a jade green. Uh, this is a Bordeaux red, not a Beaujolais, it's a Bordeaux. A uh, blue violet sparkle is this one. This is the blue violet sparkle. Uh, royal purple, which is absolutely fabulous. But I just wish that it didn't have that uh, thing. So I got, where's my dancing peacock? I don't see my dancing peacock. Oh, yeah. This is dancing peacock. C'est le pan danseur, cette couleur. Ils ont des noms très jolis. But as I said, the, the moonstone and the laguna, I think that the moonstone especially can, I think that it can be used to make a full moonstone. And the laguna maybe in the opal. And this other one, this uh, Pisces thing, it looks like it has interference. And I think that it could be used in the um, Labradorite or even in Opal. Let me see. I'll get a little bit and put on my skin because obviously if they are for face painting, they are not at all um, dangerous. Yeah, see, look how, look at this beauty. Can you see? It's absolutely fabulous. Donc, ceci sont des couleurs pour peindre, pour peindre sa, son visage. Donc, euh, ils ne sont pas du tout toxiques. Le mois wa, 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 site de Kaliana. Quel site? Ah, celui-là avec les, les petits euh, choses pour faire des bijoux. So, as you can see, the prices are really, really good and I paid... So I got everything that you have you see here. So the big jars were two dollars a piece. These samples were 99 cents a piece, and then I paid uh five dollars fifty seven for shipping. So said it's not at all expensive. Je disais que j'ai payé donc deux dollars pour pour une boîte. Um, un dollar pour l'échantillon, le, chaque échantillon, et ils m'ont envoyé les paillettes, et j'ai payé 5 dollars pour le shipping. Donc, c'est pas du tout mal. Oh, c'est dommage la coquette. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to tell you, you heard me talking about the fact that the peacock pearl seems to not to have barely any uh, mica in it. And I made some uh, mica shift here with the, the magenta pearl for comparison. Let me make sure that I have it in the screen, actually. But see how you can see the mica shift on the magenta pearl with no problem. And uh, look at this. You can barely see any kind of mica shift. So I contacted Polyform and they asked me to send photos and I did. So hopefully uh, they'll figure out what's going on and, and if there's a manufacturing site that uh, doesn't use enough uh, mica in the peacock pearl and fix it. Now let me show you what I will be doing with the enamels. I prepared this base. 
that I thought uh, I still need to put the backing and the uh, edging, but I thought it would be very nice and I'll put the enamel all over here. So I'll have the metallic -y part standing up and then the enamel in between. And also because, um, as I had so many delays with this enamel, uh, that Lumila Bakulina came up with that uh, powder enamel. Um, I actually made some little uh, puppies to see if this enamel would work to make puppies like that because I, I wasn't able to find any powder low temp enamel in the US. If you are able to, more power to you. Uh, je disais que uh, parce que j'étais trop en retard avec le OK de, de la compagnie pour finir mes, mes emails. Um, et Ludmila Makunina est arrivée avec le, ce email thing qui est en poudre. Uh, L'un que je teste est en forme liquide. Uh, J'ai quand même fait des petits coquelicots pour voir si ce spécifique uh, email um, peut être utilisé pour faire ces coquelicots parce que je sais que uh, dans l'Amérique du Nord, on ne peut pas trouver uh, la poudre low, uh, bas température de, de l'émail. Vous pouvez la trouver en uh, Europe, uh, donc vous pouvez faire tout ça, mais ici on est un peu... Donc je vais essayer, ça sera dans, à la fin de, de mon vidéo de tester uh, l'émail. Yeah. Now, let me catch up with what's happening in the chat. Do you have any questions for me? Oh no, what, what happened with Dominique? Ah bon? Avec tous les feux là-bas, je suis inquiète pour quelques. Lilo, qu'est-ce que c'est ça? C'est où ça? Ah, beau... ah, les couleurs de Mika que vous avez. Qu'est-ce que c'est FDP? Now, anybody has any questions? Oui, seulement de l'email liquide que j'ai pu, pu trouver euh, qui est à euh, cuisson de basse euh, température. Euh, dans les États-Unis, c'est très strict quand il euh, vient de, de produits et des matériaux qui pouvaient être un hasard. Donc, euh, c'est très difficile de, de, de trouver quelque chose qu'on peut utiliser dans sa maison et quelque chose comme ça, mais... J'ai seulement, j'ai pu seulement trouver euh, un, une compagnie qui fait de l'émail liquide qui est bas température, qui euh, peut être utilisé sur la pâte polymère. So yeah, if anybody knows any low temperature powder enamel, you can tell me and I will try to contact them and try and test that one too. But um, what I can tell you, it's not hard. I mean, it's liquid, but it's kind of like resin. Only that the problem is that with resin, you let it um, harden and cure after, while with this one, you need to uh, let it sit after you mix the two parts. It's also two parts like the resin. You need to let it sit for about an hour uh, just to get rid of the air bubbles, exactly like the resin. So the rest, you can just apply it with a paintbrush, uh, you can clean your stuff with the uh, alcohol. Uh, the only thing is that don't use the um, those disposable uh, uh, cups, you know, the cheap plasticky thing, because it might attack it. The same as the uh, polymer clay does attack certain plastics. So uh, the best is to use paper cups or the cups that are used for um, measuring resin if you don't have anything glass. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, I can give it to you right now. It's American body art, but it's American with a K.
Do you see it? Soil, you see it? And it's American body art with a K on it. And they have a whole bunch of stuff for face painting and um, all that. But yeah, let me see. I thought I still had them here, but I don't have them here. I put them somewhere else. My already made enamels. Hold on a second. Oh, yes. I need to show you this. And then they are probably in the kitchen. I need to show you this. So, um, one of my sponsors got me the cane caps. And I love her for that. And then Pandora sent me one of her uh, bracelet kits for free. So, I will use these and show you how neat they are when you're making canes. When I'll do the tsunami cane. Uh, and then, of course, I will make one of these. Not sure if I'm going to use these cabochons, but look at all the stuff it comes with. All kinds of little cabochons that you can put, and I think she made the tutorial with it. But I was thinking, I did, I don't know if you managed to see the, the rose uh, cane that I put up today. all these pretty cabochons okay, this. Uh, I was thinking that that rose would work beautifully for a bracelet you know different uh, sizes of those roses yeah thank you uh, I think that it would look very very nice to do that and then maybe make a little bit of something looking like lace you know, like the roses amidst the lace, kind of like Victorian style. And yeah, they also come with these really neat uh, paddle bales and some jump rings and stuff. So yeah, there, there's two tutorials right there that I'm going to to make. So let me go check on the album because I think it's. It's done. I just cannot hear it ding from here. This is the other side of the house. Just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, well, this cools off. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, je suis revenu, j'ai été prendre ça du, du fou. Um, j'ai trouvé les pièces de, de test. Donc, ils m'ont envoyé du rouge et du bleu. Et j'ai aussi fait un mélange parce qu'ils disent qu'on peut mélanger. Euh, 
vous pouvez le nettoyer avec de l'alcool si vous faites des, des boubous. Uh, so they sent me du, uh, red and blue. And uh, it says that you can mix them. So I made some uh, purple too. And uh, they told me that if you make any kind of oopsies, you can um, sand them off. Also, uh, see, when you apply it properly, because you can see here in some spots, and here I just used a toothpick to, to put it in. Uh, but if you use a real paintbrush and you do it properly, you see it looks beautiful and it looks like a real enamel because it is a real enamel. Uh, so here I put some uh, Inca gold and some acrylic and especially because I wanted to see what happens when you do the boo-boos if you can clean the enamel area and you can. Uh, here again I left a little piece to, to show how messed up it was and how it cleaned up with alcohol. And again you can clean up all your utensils without a problem with alcohol and uh, you can use a little syringe to to measure it and they actually have little syringes for sale you can buy a syringe from um, a feed store and another thing it can be applied even if it's a liquid you can apply it on uh, curved surfaces if the surface surface is heated if the surface is heated it will bond and it will not drip so that's why I made the, the poppies to see how, how well it works on uh, curved surfaces. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Right? I hope you like it. Comment fait-on quoi? Je crois que tu dois recharger la page, Cécile, pour voir plus. Parce qu'ils ne vont pas se s'actualiser. So, je ne sais pas comment fait-on quoi. Hello, Isabelle. Okay, let me see. I keep trying this to see if it cool off. So, I honestly wouldn't put really any kind of uh, glaze on it only on the I would only brush the mica powder part and this definitely needs a, a backing and I think it needs a gold backing don't you think Oh, another thing that I wanted to show you, because this thing is still slightly warm and I don't want to apply uh, um, clay on it warm. Encourage you, whenever you have uh, any kind of uh, clay remnants, to make beads. Je, ce que je veux vous montrer avant que je fais ça, parce qu'il est un peu uh, chaud encore et je ne veux pas mettre de, de la polymère fraîche, en dessous, c'est de vous encourager euh, chaque fois que vous avez un peu de polymère euh, que vous n'avez pas utilisé pour une euh, certaine technique ou quand vous faites un bijou, quand même, faites des euh, euh, perles. N'importe quelle euh, forme, n'importe, parce que vous aurez toujours à voir Vous voyez ça, c'est du, euh, du tuto que j'ai fait sur, avec les, les choses qui ressemblaient les oranges, les tranches d'orange. Ça, c'est... Euh, ça, sont de ci. Donc, j'ai fait des tubes. So, I, make, I made some uh, tube beads from what was left from this one. Because, you know, when you cut the ends, uh, this I made from what was from this one when I showed you that you can get uh, glass effects. Uh, this is from when I was making the barbed cane. 
let me see. So I have more remnants somewhere here. Yeah, this is from another cane. I mean, every time I have leftovers, I will make, yeah, this is also from the glass-like one. I will make beads. Like, for a while, I mean, look at how pretty these ones are. These are from a Mokumegane that I made some earrings with. And look how delicate they are, how delicate and pretty they are. And you can use toothpicks, you can use shish kebab skewers, but you can always do something with the clay you have. This is from a watercolor. This is again for that ocean layer barbed wire. So don't uh, don't let it be just scrap. Do something with it because you can get this is also for the from the watercolor tone paper. Donc ce que je voulais dire c'est uh, ne faisez pas votre pâté du pâté beurre. Uh, vous pouvez l'utiliser pour ce stropel cane. Vous pouvez l'utiliser pour ce hidden magic que j'ai montré. J'ai quelques tutos uh, comment utiliser le, uh, ce qu'il vous reste quand vous faites une, une pièce ou quand, quand vous faites un... Uh... Oh, yeah, end caps too. Yes, end caps, absolutely. And they are so much nicer than the metal ones because you can make them uh, uh, matching the piece. Oops. And, you know, you can make different and come on end caps are expensive they are expensive they are always very expensive see this is with that kaliana technique thing and this is from that satin slice bracelet i think i can make some earrings out of it uh this oh yes i have i have to show you this look at this this is the natasha bead i made the white and black thing but it's got Darth Vader on it. See? It definitely looks like Darth Vader. Some kind of skull thingy. And the other one looks kind of like something. But anyway, let's get back to our piece. So, I think that I'm not going to bother doing any kind of texture. I'm going to still use, but not so bad. And you know, I have my raspberry bead. Did you make yourself a... Oui, c'est comme le Darth Vader, the Star Wars. Did you make yourself a raspberry bead? Because I'm telling you, it's so um, useful when you don't have... Uh, you don't know what texture to make. Uh, je disais, vous pouvez vous faire une, uh, une perle fraise pour faire des, des textures, pour texturer. Et vous prenez, c'est sûr, vous prenez des petites boules de, de, pâté, de pâte et vous, vous les faites dans une fraise. Et vous les cuissez et ensuite vous allez comme ça. So you make your um, sheet and then you take your raspberry bead. And you just go like this. And here's your texture. Where's my blade? Where's my blade? I lost my blade. Anyway, see? And you can make it deeper if you want. Oh, yes, I have an angry owl. Uh, you, you make little, you know, you make little things like this. You make a bead first, okay? And then you make a bead. I'm not going to make one because I have these. But you make a bead, and then you make little rounds like this, and you just stick them on the bead all over. And then you bake it, and you have the raspberry bead. Tiponetela. 
Kukuti Ponet. So let's get this going. Let's get this party going. What was that? That's from a cartoon. Let's get this party. Oh, is it Shrek? I think it's Shrek. Oh my goodness, I hear thunder. J'ai entendu de la tonnerre. C'est pas bon ça. So always make sure that you don't catch any air bubble in there. Where's my, oh, that's my blade. And then we just got like this. So you know that I always do three cuts. That first one was the roughity rough. And then I make the rough trim. That was the rough cut. This is the rough trim. And then I make the refined trim. So this one, I don't think it's going to need the zedging. And because it's so thick, I'm going to cut it a little bit. Because see how the bead goes like this? I'm going to refine cut it. Be careful, I took off my eyeglasses so I cannot see the chat right now. I'll uh, look at the chat as soon as I'm done with this. But see how the bead has an edge like this. So I'm going to follow that edge. I, I'm letting the blade rest on the bead. And that way I will not, uh, I will make all the cuts under the same, in the same angle. I'm just following the bead. Je laisse la lame rester sur la, sur la surface, sur la côte de, du pendentif. Et donc, quand je coupe, ce sera toujours le même angle. I know, because I get a lot of times the question, how can you do the edging so prettily and so... You cannot even see where it's the edging. I have, especially on the pieces I sell, I get that uh, question all the time. So then you just go and you, and see this one needs to be a little bit flatter. Because that's the part with the netting. So you don't want the pendant to get too thick. You ne voulez pas le pendentif d'être trop gros. Donc, dans cette euh, région où il y a le, le netting on, sur la face du pendentif, je vais mettre le, faire le, le dos du pendentif un peu plus mince. So after I do this, and I'm sure that everything is nice, I'm gonna get the raspberry bead again. See how neat the raspberry bead works? You can actually texture it after you put it on. Let me put this 
and see what you said. Oui, les finitions sont très importantes. Euh, un de mes professeurs dans l'école d'art dis, toujours disait que c'est la, la grande différence entre l'artiste et euh, le novice, l'amateur. Okay, je, I'm reading the chat. Oui, tu peux le faire sur un boudin, tu peux le faire comme un, uh, comme un petit cylindre. Yes, we did. We did it. It's uh, that uh, tropical storm that went through Mexico. And we had uh, the fringes of it meeting with the air from the north. And so we had a lot of rain. And that really messes me up. Il y a beaucoup de matériel de, de regarder, tu vas apprendre, Régine, c'est pas de problème. Now, should we make uh, some, should we put some mica powder on the back? I will put some mica powder on the back and I'm going to make a big, big, no, you know what, I'm going to put the duo blue-green. Because I think the combination of gold and dual blue green is unbeatable. Let's see, how do I want it? I want it to hang like this, right? Parce qu'on a besoin de quelque chose pour le accrocher à une chaîne, non? We need a bail. And because I'm using all this mica powder, I will have, even if the, the polymer clay is raw there, I will use the, some liquid polymer clay to attach the bail. Uh, sometimes it happens, Shirley. Sometimes mine freezes too. YouTube has a very crappy uploading and connection stuff. So I'm going to get it, I think, like this.
Et voilà. There we go. We have our applique pendant. I hope you like it. And remember, don't when you make it, if you put the mica powder, uh, put some uh, glaze here, but otherwise I think that this area is just too pretty. And you probably can get uh, other nice combinations like blue and white and try some uh, green, uh, bright green pearl mixed with jungle, a little bit of jungle green. So there we go. See, we were able to actually make a piece and bake a piece and finish a piece. Well, it still needs one more baking, but do the backing and all that in under an hour and a half. I am so good when it comes to scheduling and calculating the time, if nothing messes me up. <laughs> thank you, thank you, merci, merci. So anybody has any other questions? Vous avez uh, des questions? Parce que c'est dimanche et je ne veux pas vous tenir plus que le temps du live. Merci, Lilou. And also you've seen that there's not a lot of uh, polymer clay that was needed. Also, you've seen, uh, vous avez vu, c'est pas beaucoup de, de polymer que vous avez besoin pour faire cette pièce. Oh, pas du tout. Uh, Donna, you can try different color combinations. If you go on the discussions tab on YouTube, uh, you always find my recommendations of colors. Uh, try them. No, je ne veux dire pas. Je crois que que c'est très joli comme ça. Euh, je ne vernis pas toujours, je veux, euh, veux, veux vernir sur euh, les places que j'ai mis de, de la poudre mica pour que la poudre mica ne, ne se frotte pas. Et... Mais euh, sur beaucoup de pièces, je ne mets pas du tout de vernis, euh, spécialement quand il y a des détails que je crois que le, euh, le vernis, euh, parce que c'est si luisant, va faire les détails inobservables. Does that make sense? I said that um, there are a lot of pieces that I don't put glaze on because I think that, especially in pieces that have certain details, uh, whatever you put as a glaze, be it, um, you know, varathane or resin or whatever you use, uh, the shininess, the glare, will hide the pretty details of the piece, if it's one of those pieces with a lot of details. Yes, you need to dig out. You need to always have your micas ready. So, I will make, uh, tomorrow I'm going to work on the enamel. And then the next one will be, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be the tsunami cane or if it go, it's going to be anyway um, a translucent cane tutorial. If it's going to be the tsunami cane, then I am going to use the glitters in it. And I am sure that you will love it. Because think about this, what does that tsunami cane look like? And think about this, doesn't it look like a galaxy? Oh yes, they all work, they all work. So I think we're gonna have a night sky with some galaxies going around. And we'll make the galaxies out of the tsunami floating canes. Oh yes, I love my Perlex too, especially I love the duo colors a lot. And I love the interference colors, the, the ghost and the chameleon. I really need to get some chameleons. 
the row scan is very, very easy. Uh, le patin, non, je fais mes, mes patines avec des peintures acryliques. Si tu regardes dans mes vidéos, j'ai une vidéo, euh, un, un tuto pour montrer comment faire des, des patines avec de, de la peinture acrylique. À un moment, je crois que je peux avoir encore un morceau. Des, des patines. Si je ne les ai pas jetées déjà. Non, je les ai jetées. Non, mais regarde dans, mes, dans ma liste de vidéos, il y a, je crois, six semaines, sept semaines, j'ai fait des tutos euh, comme euh, faire les, euh, les patines en acrylique. Mais non, je, je n'emploie pas les patines et je vais te dire pourquoi. Parce que je sais comment faire les patines avec l'acrylique. Pourquoi acheter quelque chose que j'ai pas réellement besoin quand je peux utiliser l'argent pour acheter d'autres choses que j'ai besoin. Euh, bien sûr, si, si quelqu'un veut que je montre comment faire ça, peut-être en temps, après que je, euh, je, je, je fais tous mes besoins pour faire des bons tutos, je vais probablement acheter de, de patinage, mais... Uh, so, I said that, uh, no, I don't use the patinas because I know how to do patina with acrylic paints and I don't see why I should spend money for something that I don't really need because knowing how to do the patinas with acrylic paints, I don't really need all those patinas. Uh, but if in the future somebody wants to see a tutorial on how those are used, of course, I know how to use them. Um, I'm an artist. I'm a, I, first, I was a painter, right? Um, I will make a tutorial like that. I will get some. But first, I want to get everything that I need uh, to make good tutorials. I still need to get a few things. The digital camera is going to be here this coming week. And then I need another um, camera, web camera holder, instead of using this lamp. So anyway. Bon, alors, c'est... Si vous n'avez plus de questions, so if you don't have any more questions, I hope you liked the, the video. If you came too late, uh, you can uh, see the beginning of the video as soon as it's going to take just a few minutes for it to, uh, to upload from Hangouts. So if you don't have any more questions, I guess we can close the live here yeah i still have that dancing peacock thing here and i wish you a great uh sunday donc si vous n'avez plus de questions on peut fermer ce ce live et vous avez une bonne soirée de, de dimanche et je vais vous voir encore le, la, le dimanche prochain Thank you, thank you. A bisous à tous. Hugs to everybody. Thank you, Lawrence. Merci, Tiponet. Bonsoir à tous. Good night, everybody. Bye, Shirley. Bye, Donna. Bye, Soil. Bye, Tiponet. Bye, Caledo Coco. Optimistic. Laurence. Cécile. Elena. Delphine. Et tout le monde, si j'ai pas vu quelqu'un. If I missed somebody, everybody. So, bye. See you next Sunday. If I can find my window to close this. Have a great Sunday. Happy clean. <laughs>